What's up everybody? I'm back with another episode. There's been a lot of changes around the shop and the channel. Uh, I'm getting into metalworking and I'm excited about that. I've recently acquired a welder. It's the Hobart Iron Man 230. It is a MIG welder and um, I'm gonna try that out for a while and I'm gonna probably go to TIG as well. Um, one thing at a time though. So I recently purchased a plasma cutter. It's Prime Weld Cut 60. Uh, I like it because it has the hookup for the CNC, so it's kind of future-proof the shop. Um, but thinking about that, I don't have any kind of filtration system for the, the compressor. Uh, also, I upgraded my compressor because it was less than 5.1 SCFM, so um, I had to get that upgraded. Uh, and then I'm thinking about the filter, the three-stage filter system to get some dry, clean air. And I did a lot of research and there's a lot of products out there, but I wanted something robust and I wanted something uh, more industrial, um, heavy duty, you know, something that you can take apart, repair, put together or replace pieces. A lot of these things are permanent and they're sealed and uh, it's kind of like a one use thing and you throw them away. I didn't want that. So I did some research and I found this company by the name of Nanfu Pneumatic. And uh, I was impressed. I read the specs and uh, it was exactly what I was looking for. And I just wanted to introduce the product to you. I'm gonna do a little unboxing and uh, just uh, set it up here in the shop and kind of give it a test and we'll see what happens, stay tuned. So here's the product. It's rather large and it's heavy. And um, that just tells you that it's um, gonna last a while and it's gonna do the job good as well. I'm gonna give you a quick unboxing here. So when you get your package, this is exactly what it looks like when you get it. Um, you're gonna have um, extra filters, O-rings, and springs in here. So that's nice that they give you that. There are already filters and springs and O-rings in the unit itself. You're also going to get a gauge, PSI, and they're gonna give you some Teflon tape and some one half inch MPT fittings. I chose the one half because um, you know, maybe I might wanna upgrade the system later. And then they give you plenty of desiccant. Uh, there's about four bags here. And then of course you have the manual with all the specs. The system, this is the system, this is how it comes. Um, one of the reasons why I chose the system is because it has the ability to completely mirror itself. In other words, you can switch the regulator on this side and, you know, switch things around. Um, it is very modular. Um, all these screws come apart and it's very easy to do that. Um, this is where the gauge goes on the regulator and the regulator has um, arrows of direction here for the airflow. So you'd have to, if your shop, uh, the compressor was on this side, you would want your regulator on this side because th this is the line input. And then of course, my plasma will be around here in this area. So I want the outtake here. So I, I'll have to just take this apart and be conscious of the, the arrows pointing in the direction that I need. The system is a three-stage system. I'm gonna bring you in closer. Getting into a little bit more detail about this three-stage filter system. We have, starting at the bottom, we have a regulator water trap. This water trap also has an automatic drain feature. The element will rise with the water level and when it, once it gets to a certain height, it will automatically drain. Inside of the filter, you have the element itself for water trapping. This first element traps five microns of dust or water that happen to get through into your line. Moving on to the second stage, we have the, we have a second water trap, but also uh, for catching oil in your line if there's any oil as well. There is another gauge showing that, and then this has a manual release for draining this canister. The element that's inside this canister is a 0.01 micron element. 
which catches uh, very fine particles and bits of oil, if, if any. Third stage would be the desiccant. The desiccant has, filter has a magnification gauge. You can clearly see when it turns from blue to pink. Uh, and this right here is just, this can be, it's like, I like the whole system, how everything could be taken apart, repaired, or replaced. And this is just the bolt locking the inner canister of the desiccant. I will show you that now. This is what the inner uh, canister looks like. The beads go around this canister. Another thing uh, about this uh, system is that, it, as I said before, it can completely mirror itself. Um, you can switch the regulator to this side. And uh, for example, that would be handy if your compressor was on this side of the shop. If it was on this side of the shop, you would want your intake and regulator to be here and your desiccant filter to be here with the outtake on this side. Um, this is easily done by switching the port for the, the gauge to your back and then your back to the side. Moving up, we have the actual regulator itself. Uh, you can pull up, dial in your PCI, and lock it, in, lock it in place. The gauge here shows when the element, this is a notification showing when the element needs to be replaced. A little red button will pop up letting you know that it needs to be replaced. As I said before, this is a modular system, so you can actually add one more water trap or one more desiccant. Um, the possibilities are endless. It could be four, five, six stages. Uh, depending on your usage. I know a lot of HVLP uh, painting uh, personnel people, they um, are very concerned about their paint and they want to filter as much of the moisture as possible. So if you notice on this side, there is a place for a clamp like these. And then on this side, there is a place for a clamp. So you can add as many as you want. Another thing is that they include a nice set of brackets four screws that you can mount this on the wall or wherever you wish. So now what I'm going to be doing is off camera, I will be rearranging the system. I'm going to put the regulator on my left, your right, and the desiccant filter on this side to match the setup of my shop. Stay tuned. As you can see, I have my intake and my outtake. Uh, my, my regulator is on this side and my desiccant is on this side and uh, the air direction is correct. It's going to be flowing in this direction. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and mount this now. I just put a piece of plywood on the wall so that I can get all four screws into something solid. And there you go. So you have your outtake. I'm just gonna put this hose in here with a nozzle for now. I'm gonna go ahead and plug in my compressor for now. As I said earlier, I'm gonna have a nice air system in here, but for now, this is how I'm gonna do it. And um, as you could see, or actually, as you can hear, there's absolutely no leaks. Um, so you could tell that this is a quality product and it's not going to leak and it's going to do its job. Of course, I'll give you updates down the road. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and uh, release some pressure here. You notice the PSI dropping quite a bit as I release it. And set it on 50, lock it in. It's good. All right, guys, that concludes the setup and the review of the Nampu Pneumatics three-stage filter system, model number FRPD44-D. The D just stands for automatic drain. You can get the other model, it's a little less money. I just wanted to have it for ease of mind and one less thing to worry about. 
Uh, but yeah, if I were you, I'd get a couple of these things. I'm sure you guys have stations all over your shop for automotive, woodworking, and metalworking, such as plasma cutters. It would be handy to regulate all of those stations as your needs fit. Uh, I put all the information and the link below uh, so that you can get yourself one of these. I do appreciate your support by using the link. It doesn't cost you any money to hit that. It just gives the channel a little kickback. Um, please subscribe, hit that bell, and like this episode. Uh, I have some more stuff coming. You don't want to miss it. Have a great day.